71,000 miles on this girl. It's trying to kick on and goes right back off again. You can see the whole thing is bubbled. What do you just think of the old girl? Well, it's got nice tail lights. Here we go. I sure hope this thing checks out good with Steve because Grizzly is taking it tomorrow to go all the way to Alabama for us to finally finish the blue tarp special. This is our 1999 Coachman RV that was donated for free to Wings of Compassion where we serve veterans through aviation. Steve is coming. He was the guy that helped us diagnose this thing when we first got it. He's gonna tell us everything that's wrong with it. I mean, it's gonna be just fine. Wow, I just learned they just bought this truck today and it's got 45.7 miles. Have you worked on any RVs since you got the truck? Nope. This will be the first time. That's why we... Heck yeah! We're a little I'm sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to like bang. <laughs> You're probably like, whoa, yeah, take yeah. it easy on the truck. What do you think? Oh, it looks sharp. It's a good. I mean, I know it's got some, got some work, but it's good. The paint's not bad for the old So where did you want to start first? You're the boss, you tell me. Well, you already did a service on your engine, so... How old are RV tires? When? How often are they supposed Normally to be changed between out? between eight to 10 years. Okay, so we're at the very end of their life expectancy, yeah, and that's assuming that they weren't sitting in sand. You can see the depth. Yeah. They were sitting all the way up to here in yeah, sand. Yeah, because he dirt. had his covers, uh, covers on there. It took a lot of that. Oh. Ooh, that. Checking any cracking from uh, age. I'm not seeing anything. We need to find some uh, anti-wrinkle cream or something. <laughs> Is that? Your brake pads are good. Brake stroke looks good. Your because you got air brake system. Yeah. Uh, your looks like you're just about an inch and a half out from the canister, which is proper for this. You remember putting that clamp on there? Oh, yeah. yes, I remember. Still holding that. Yeah, it's still there. Well, that temporary might just be permanent for a while, huh? 71,000 miles on this girl. You do have some checking on your uh, cracking on, you know, little age cracking on your airbags. So I am not necessarily have to do it right now, but I definitely would be thinking about getting them replaced. And what are you looking for? I'm just right now, I'm just inspecting for your, uh, any leaks, any major leaks. And uh, on this side over here, just be careful where you're grabbing because we ran over a deer the first time we got it. <laughs> so there's deer on this side here and chunks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's still a chunk right of them back there. there. Yeah, those are always nice. Yeah, that is fine. <laughs> you know your AC compressor's back here, just hanging, right? Uh, that that's a modification we did. <laughs> yeah. So our uh, high horsepower mod. That's uh, giving yourself about 25 more horsepower. Is that what you're doing? That's right. Yeah. No major corrosion other than the, the normal the normal rust. Checking your belt. Seems to be in. Decent condition. Fan hub bearings are good. Other than normal seepage, you know, here and there, it's in really good shape. Yep. Here, let me pop the hood for you. Yep. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Right now, I'm just listening for your your fuel pump. Hear that? Yeah. That's a primer. I'm priming it. it started good. Uh, it, it popped the breaker, kept popping it, and I figured the starter was stuck. So I went in there with my small three pound sledge, whacked a snot out of it. What you're seeing now is, is what it does. When it was running, it had a distinct O'Day factory smoke. And so we, we pulled this panel back just a smidge. These are all magnets. Here, let's Ah, uh, you got camera. your magnets off of your... Uh, so, mm -hmm. and that's just what I found yeah. before I stopped digging. Yeah. Uh, see, that's uh, why it won't stay running, because yes. it's got to see the voltage from your uh, generator before it'll tell the ECM of it to yes. tell you to let it run. Because that static and rotor basically grenaded itself. Yeah. But hey, your engine starts pretty decent. I mean, when it starts. Great. So, you might have fixed the starter with the hammer again. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, good news, everything looks really decent on it, other than maybe that part. Oh, AC. wow. Yeah, your AC. The whole evaporator is yep. fell off of this thing. Yeah, the housing broke. Oh, there he is. Found him. Found him. 
Same thing with your front airbags. You're gonna, they're even worse than the back ones. So just plan on getting some airbags. <laughs> Never mind, you don't want to hear that. I actually went to school for automotive and diesel. So according to my schooling, I'm supposed to know how to do all this, but that was like 24 years ago. I've forgotten a lot of that since then. Do me a favor and once you hop up in there and step on the, make sure that the air brakes are, got, uh, got at least 100 PSI pressure in it. Uh -huh. And then you can shut it off and then we're gonna step on the brakes. Okay. A full application. All right. All right, go ahead and full application. Here we go. I don't think I've ever put the pedal all the way down. Yeah. All right, you can let up. Have we checked your hydraulic system? The jacks? Yes. Yes. And we've checked the fluid level in that? No. All right, so you normally do those with them all the way up, so we might as well do that now. Okay then, vent or... Oh, yeah, it's a vent cap, you gotta put your wrench underneath there. Oh. And take that off. And normally at this point, they should be about, oh, about right in there, full. So I do have to ask you, whenever we went down there to go look at this the first time, that was the first time you had ever been in a little airplane, wasn't it? Other than when I was a kid. Oh, that's right, and your brother, because yeah. somebody like scared you. <laughs> yeah, he scared me. Yeah, that was the first time for a long, long time. Yeah. So, yeah, you asked me, you said, would I do it again? Yeah. Yeah, you'd go up in that the but, 310 but again? not at night. Yeah, no, that night, <laughs> well, that sucks. Now, that we was got not... stuck down there because this, the current person occupying the White House right now uh, was down there, so they had a no-fly zone over the whole area, and we were stuck there till what, 9.30, 10 o'clock at night or something like that? Yep. We couldn't even leave till then. So then we flew all the way back at night. There was a little bit of clouds whenever we were coming in to land, coming through a little bit of that. So on the 310, the landing lights are huge and they fold out from under the bottom of the wing. And we took off and I cleaned up and flapped and I'm like, something feels weird with the controls on this thing. And as I was turning, I saw the switches for the landing lights were still down. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding. So I flipped them and they came up and I was like, perfect. And everything was set. I'm like, ah, oh, just kidding, ATC, headed back to Plant City. You can only know what I was imagining when you said, uh, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> oh yeah. In the middle of the night, I couldn't <laughs> see nothing. Spooky as ever. <laughs> no, I got real quiet after that. You did, I noticed, I noticed you went into just... Yeah. I was focused. Woosa, he was woosa. <laughs> All right, on this one here, you got a little dipstick here between the full and the add mark. Slightly screw it down on there. And as you can see, we're right on the full mark. Here. Let's test the jacks. Let's bring them down. Uh, nope. Nope, can't do that. Oh, you can, you can get them down. They just don't go back up. It has the opposite problem of most middle-aged men. So, <laughs> so uh, how many of the jacks don't come up? The, the front two. Just the front two? Yeah. Okay. They don't look like they're corroded or nothing. They look like in pretty decent shape. Um, I'd have to look at the bores with them down, but we could uh, lubricate those cylinders and see if we could get them to move up and down. It's a possibility if you can't get them to break loose, we'll have to replace them to get them to do that. How about your awning on the other side? No, no we did no, not no. touch that. Did you want to try that? No, we You don't want to try no. it, huh? So I did have a... Have you checked your hot water heater? Uh, yeah. No. Uh, I'll probably die if I get stung again. So do we have any water in here? Have we tried? Have yeah, we... it comes out of the hot water. So we do it the, so the uh, pump's working in it? Sometimes. I need no water going to this thing. All right. How much am I running this thing? All right, just shut it off. We're going we're gonna to pull the uh, plug out of the bottom. You know... He doesn't know this, but we know this. We couldn't get the thing to turn on. No. And I wasn't about to touch it with all the rust and corrosion no. happening here. Uh -huh. But Grizzly will be ecstatic. First step yeah, it would be leaking by now if there was any water in there. It's got some gunk in it. Delicious. It so could be flushed, but you ain't getting no, yeah, you don't have no water running to it. So let's go find your shut off. Go show me where you're, what you were talking about there. I can get you where the back of that thing is. Yeah, see, they, they have it bypassed. You know, your faucet's leaking Holy a little bit. crap, it's hot in there. Oh, uh, Woo! Sorry. 
Right yep, they were shut off. Okay, we're gonna turn them on. There we go. Holy crap. It's like 15 minutes, not even that, five minutes. He's like, oh, you guys are just idiots. Three. What we gotta do is we gotta, we gotta bleed the air out of the tank. Otherwise you can get a hot spot in it. If you wanna go turn the faucet on, on the hot side. Okay. I'll let some of the air out of there too. Off? Yep. Yeah, it's off. It's still filling. So you want me to nope. open it? No, you can just leave it like that. I'm gonna do it from down here now. Are you able to start it down there or does it automatically, how does it work? No, I have to start it from up there. Some switches are down here, but most of them are all up there. Huh. Dude, Grizzly is gonna be super yeah. excited. Yeah, he is. If this actually works. All right, there you go. Yeah, okay, now, see so we got water coming out of there. Oh, nice. You take it on your, uh, right there, that's when you wanna make sure it's full like that. Now we're ready to flip the switch. All right, you ready? Yep, let's go ahead and see what it does. All right, fire in the hole. It's showing green. Okay. Green, red. Green, red. Flicker, red. Green, red. It's trying to kick on and goes right back off again. Hey, turn that, uh, turn that power off for me. Switch is off. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna go inside and look real quick for... Up there, yeah. Ah. Well, no All hot right. water for the man. No hot water for Grizzly. There you go. All right. Grizzly. How about, how about your suburban heater? What? Your refrigerator and your uh, suburban heater. Yeah, that doesn't work either. It, this don't work either, huh? No. The buttons turn on, show green, but nothing else. This is the first time we've had this panel off of it. Hey, there was a pilot light somewhere. Yeah, your refrigerator came on. But it's running. Is it really? Uh-huh. Did yeah. you have it hooked up? Was it, did you have the propane on at the time? I think so. Okay. Yeah. So we're just gonna assume the heater works fine. Never thought it would be too hot to turn the heater on, huh? Well, I figured maybe at least keep kick on for a minute, but now, nah, no deal. So is one of these things gonna get hotter? Oh, it'll get warm and then it'll start getting colder toward the top, but it's gonna take a little bit. You give it time and this will start warming up and then as it, as it pushes the fluid through, it gets cold. Yep, that's broke. So bad news for Grizzly, the ice maker is not going to work for him. Here's how you fix that right there. <laughs> there you go. See, it's fixed now. Done. Oh. And see, now I'm just listening for, and that's the oven. No, there's no oven. I'm sorry. High speed front. Yep, we're getting airflow through there. Air through there. Like a small propane. Ooh. Ooh. There we Isn't go. Isn't that fancy? They're all working good. So, let's see. We already checked out the plumbing. And your shower's working right. Yeah, with about the same amount of water pressure. Here, I don't have the... Oh, you got the valves on over there? there? Oh, the water pump, you mean? spray at your face. <laughs> There's full water pressure right there. That's gonna be really bad. <laughs> yeah, that's, there's something plugged on that one. I'd take that end off. Yeah, see how the, it's uh, the blue in there? Yeah, that's all the antifreeze. Yep, still got the antifreeze in there. Yeah. If we had a fault for your refrigerator, it would be, you'd be a light here, it'd be a light on. So it's showing, it's showing working. And so that switch down there? Yeah, I turned it on, on, I turned it on. And we had it going for a couple of hours, yeah. and it never did even feel it didn't even cool, feel. nothing. Yeah, and it could be that it's out of Freon, too. You noticed you're standing on your ceiling here, especially when you got a skylight here. And uh, when I was outside, I did notice, uh, looks like your top of your roof might be damaged a little bit. Let's go take a look at that. Sure, it's fine. Want to see the world's coolest ladder? Um, all your lap sealants cracked. That's where all your leaks are coming from. Oh, good. They got like Grand Canyon ca gaps in them. You could probably do a patch on here because without looking at the rest of it, let's just assume the rest of it's good. A coating that goes over these that's 
like a real thick rubber. This is where our, where our leak is around the skylight in the bathroom right here. As you can see, we have cracking in our lap sealant yes. coming right around here. And then for the bowing on the side, of course, we just confirmed that your roof lining is, wood. see that here? Oh, yeah, it's That's wood. wood. See how soft that wood is? We got plywood okay. right there. And it comes over to this side piece here. Yeah. And then that's, but the water's getting up underneath here and then going down and down the wall. And then we have, of course, all your other lap sealant too. And then you have your refrigerator vent. That's broke. missing all together. Right. So now that, when it rains, it'll go down and go out. Oh, look. There's just a. And then straight, there's a oh, hole. Oh, this is all soft right yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We got our antennas. AC unit. This one yep. works. <laughs> Woo, yeah. All right. Now this is the first time we've had this open, yeah, so we don't know. Just make sure there's no wasps. Uh, nest. Yep. There's yep. One, there is one. But there ain't nobody on it. That's good. Not That's, today, Satan. There's no squirrels in the squirrel. Oh, the motor seems to turn pretty yep. easy. Yep. Um, that clicking. There's going to be a control box up in here. And now is that inside where the filter is inside? Yep, it'll be up okay, in the yeah, filter we, up in we there. We didn't take any of that. So. so it's up in there. Sometimes you could not saying that's the proper fix, but it's a temporary get you going until you can get it. Uh, we're good here. Everything looks good. Nice. I don't see no, I don't see anything major damage here. Good to go up here. Oh other, wow! Other than that, that's, oh yeah, you're really soft there. That is trampolinish right there. How's your dash fan blow? Uh, the blow is fine, outside air. Uh, the AC, as you remember, is sitting off sitting. the engine there, the delete kit. That's Our, correct. Uh, one air conditioner over there, this one is... Uh, Gone. Optional. Oh, you got some streaks on the inside. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's normal. <laughs> Horn? Nope, it doesn't work either. TV works, the most important thing, and the VCR. Wow. Whoop, we had a movie going on. Monsters versus aliens. Yeah, Spanish version or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve. All right, well, I pretty much got everything I need uh, for the information on this. So what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll crunch some numbers, get some info on what we need, and we'll get back to you. Well, for the, you know, the YouTubers, what, uh, what do you just think of the old girl? Well, it's got nice tail lights. Got Grizzly set up here. Got a new refrigerator, since that one took a crap. Got a new generator, since the old one took a crap. Uh, and what else is not working? The hot water heater, it's gonna be hot anyway, so he's good. And then we got your five Bs, you got your beans, your bologna, your brats, your bacon, and your Bible. It's really all you need to survive. Got our first repair we gotta do, got a little issue with the old cabinet right here, but we got a fix for that. Jesse? There we go. Oh, it's perfect! I thought, yeah. I was going to bring him an MRE, but I wanted him to be, you know, be happy. He probably brought his own MRE. <laughs> no, that dude lived on MREs whenever he was out, you know, bushwhacking. You don't want that and he one. said he, could, he never wants to hit <laughs> another MRE ever again. You got to get the, you got to get the good kind. No, nah. make it yourself lasagna. Yeah, there you Ooh. go. Oh, I can really like put my finger inside. This is so soft right here. Like you can see the whole thing is bubbled. Two and a half rolls of duct tape later. We got most of the holes filled in. Um, we got this roof vent, that roof vent, uh, the sun room shade thing for the shower with the big hole that was in the side of the roof um, and then we have the other roof vent and the hole filled in enough hi grizzly have fun in alabama hey grizzly it's jimmy yeah man hey uh have you left already with the rv uh you have uh, no reason. No, it should be good. I was just checking to see if you're on schedule. No, yeah. no, he said it turned out great. You should, you're gonna be fine. Yep. All right, man. Safe travels. We'll uh, see you in Alabama. All right, bye. I'm sure, he's gonna be fine. 
You know. Really?